Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all denarians on the go and in the know. Today is December 12, 2019. Please like subscribe and share to help support our channel. Special announcement. Check out the 12 days of Christmas sale. Get up to 40% discount on all CEP products through tonight. Use the promo code FEEDENARIAN and receive an additional $10 off. Get your favorite denarian, the sense of security he or she deserves for Christmas, it is worth its weight in gold. Get your copy today, before it is too late. Stay informed and stay alert, knowledge is power, and know that today, we are one day closer than yesterday. First Article of Interest In 2020, I wrecked a temporary budget. The Finance Committee approved in the House of Representatives that Iraq will enter in 2020 a temporary budget, due to the delay in its transmission by the current caretaker government due to a procedural legal problem, noting that this situation is similar to what happened in the past year before the formation of the government of Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi. Committee member Dr. Ahmed al Safar told al Saba, it was hoped that the budget will be sent to Parliament last Thursday but we were surprised by the Prime Minister's apology for sending it because there was no authority to send any draft law to Parliament, including the budget, because his government is now a caretaker government. He added, the House of Representatives inquired about that and it appeared that the Prime Minister could send important bills to the Parliament in the first week of the caretaker government, stressing that, the Parliament in turn cannot read and discuss the budget and vote on it if it is sent during December the current. In between the yoke, that LRS will have to adopt, interim budget, acted monthly salaries, and only operational budget, with the exception of the investment budget and exchange contracts and functional grades until the vote on the budget 2020. Member of Parliament Faha Mahmood showed that. Next article of interest. Protesters of Tahrir Square set seven conditions for accepting the new Prime Minister. The protesters of Tahrir Square in the Iraqi capital, Baghdad, issued a statement yesterday, Wednesday, in which they specified the specifications of the new president of the government of Iraq. The protesters said, As you know, we are continuing to restore the homeland and the land. Yes, we feel that our land is usurped despite the fact that whoever governs us is Iraqi. We have come out revolting in the face of injustice and oppressors. And every day of protest we bleed a lot of blood and shed tears and lose companions and friends, from those who hold noble and honorable positions, who have fallen martyrs of heroes in the various cities of our beloved country, which is witnessing a peaceful struggle for the restoration of what the oppressors usurped from us. The statement added, after patience and determination, we managed to overthrow the government of killing with sniping. But now we are at the doors of a new stage that requires clarification from us. So, after the consultation, we found it important to define the characteristics of the Iraqi Prime Minister, who will receive the helm of government in the next transitional stage paved for early elections. The fact that the next stage is a sensitive stage will determine the fate of a nation. The statement outlined the specifications accordingly. 1 to be independent and not affiliated with any party or stream and without a dual nationality, 2. Who was not a minister or the rank of a minister or parliamentarian, 3. That he be honest and brave and did not refer to him in any corruption case, 4. And that he is young and does not exceed 55 years of age, 5. And to pledge not to run in the upcoming elections. He continued. 6 to abide by the demands of the revolutionaries in the squares of the sit-in, 7, and that his decision is in Iraqi, independent, pure and not subject to pressure from political blocs or external interference. Next article of interest. Parliamentary law reveals the upcoming electoral trend. Some blocs changed their positions behind the scenes. Member of the Legal Committee of the Parliament, Basma Basim, revealed today, Wednesday, the reasons for postponing the voting session on the election law. Bassam said to the Iraqi news agency, although the positions of a number of political blocs have changed in the scenes, and they differ from what they say in the media, 
but the legal committee has officially registered the positions of the blocks in front of the people, and the trend towards multiple constituencies has become certain for most of the blocks. She added that the time did not help her committee after the blocks formally resolved their positions, as the legal committee must meet to determine the approved districts as electoral districts. She pointed out that the committee requested its deadlines for a few days to discuss with representatives of the governorates from the deputies and with the Ministry of Planning to determine the electoral districts. The House of Representatives decided to postpone its session to vote on the election law until an unspecified time, to give a deadline for the legal committee to hold its meeting until the controversy over Article 15 of the House of Representatives elections law was concluded with the participation of all representatives of political blocs. Next article of interest, U.S. official warns Iraq, two factions fired missiles and consequences no one will like. A U.S. military official warned today, Wednesday, that attacks by Iranian-backed groups in Iraq could lead to an escalation out of control in Iraq. We have become accustomed to provocative shootings, but they have rarely occurred, the military official, who asked not to be named, told Reuters. And now the matter has become more complicated, and the number of missiles fired at once has increased, and this worries us very much. He added, these actions may change things on the ground at a certain moment, which increases the possibility of an unintended escalation by them or us. He pointed out that the militias armed by Iran are approaching the red line, where the coalition may respond with force, adding that the consequences will not be appreciated by anyone. He added that intelligence data and examination of the missiles indicate that Hezbollah brigades and Asabal al-Haq were the ones who fired the rockets. It is noteworthy that the United States had imposed sanctions on leaders of Asabal al-Haq, the director of the Popular Mobilization Security and others, accusing them of being behind the attacks on demonstrators. Washington also hinted at Iran's responsibility for targeting an Iraqi military base hosting American forces. Next article of interest. U.S. official. We will not accept our forces in Iraq turning into targets. A U.S. military official confirmed that Washington would respond forcefully to the attacks on its military bases in Iraq, warning that these attacks by Iranian-backed militants may lead to an escalation out of control in the country. The military official said that the American forces in Iraq have become accustomed to provocative shootings, but they have rarely occurred, but now the matter has become more complicated and the number of missiles fired at once has increased, and this worries Washington very much. The American official added that these attacks may change matters on the ground during a certain moment in Iraq, which increases the possibility of an unintended escalation by these armed groups or by the United States pointing out that the Iranian-backed militants are approaching the red line and may respond alliance by force. Next article of interest. Trump, getting very close to a big deal with China. They want it, and so do we. President Donald Trump said Thursday that the U.S. has moved close to a trade agreement with China after several false starts and near misses. Getting very close to a big deal with China. They want it, and so do we. The president tweeted. Denarian note, the trade agreement with China, deal a lot with the manipulation of currencies, which China is highly guilty of in the past. With all the recent agreements signed with Iraq on the rebuilding of the infrastructure, this trade deal is of very high relevance to our investment, in my opinion. Is it a coincidence that everything going on in the world keeps getting pushed down the road to maybe a predetermined date? I don't think so. Next article of interest. Member of Parliamentary Finance clarifies the fact that Abdul Mahdi apologized for sending the budget. Member of the Parliamentary Finance Committee, Sam Shannon, denied Thursday, the resigned Prime Minister, Adele Abdul Mahdi, to send the 2020 budget to Parliament, noting that the government formed a committee to study the budget and granted it powers to send it to Parliament. Shannon said in a statement to Information 
that the caretaker government approved the draft budget law before Prime Minister Adel Abdel Mahdi submitted his resignation, and a government committee headed by the Minister of Finance and the membership of the Minister of Planning and a representative of the Council and Ministers has been assigned to study the budget and complete its formulation and send it to Parliament. She added that the statement about the caretaker Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi's apology sending the budget to him for validity, noting that the government committee will send the draft budget law 2020 to Parliament if the study and review are completed. A member of the Parliamentary Finance Committee Ahmed Al Safar confirmed in a previous statement today, Thursday, that Iraq will enter in 2020 with a temporary budget due to the delay in its transmission by the current caretaker government due to a procedural legal problem, indicating that Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi apologized for send the budget. Like subscribe to be alerted as breaking news unfolds from Iraq. Make sure you take advantage of the 12 days of Christmas sale. Get up to 40% discount on all CEP products starting today. Use the promo code FEDENARIAN and receive an additional $10 off. They are practically giving the planner away. Get your copy today, before it is too late. Stay informed and stay alert, knowledge is power, and know that today we are one day closer than yesterday, over and out for now, the Denarian.